M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're on the Rouage UV58 Plus. I thought I'd show you what repeater mode is. So firstly, we're on uh, main band here. So how do we get to main band? We just push the red button up and down. So we're in main band and then we can push the hash. That's channel mode. Frequency mode. Frequency mode. And let's just say we want to put our repeater in. We just go one, one four, four, five. Nine. And let's just do 700 for now. Keep putting the noughts on. So that's our output. That's what we're listening to, to hear our repeater. Now, there isn't a minus and plus shift on this radio. What you do, you hold down the star button, and then you type in the input. So you go one, one four, four, five, five, and let's, I think it will be 100. One, zero, zero. So that's your input. And then you need to put in your, your tone frequency. So you would go menu. Then now the repeater number for sorry the menu number is twenty six so you can just type it in rather than just going up and down and most of the time it's just your TX tone so you're just going to go menu and if you have to you push the hash the star like it says here and then you go up and down if you push the star and you get this look just keep going you can either turn it off. Push the star and you can go off uh, or you can push the star again each time you push the star you're changing the type but we want it to stay on like the number so 67 look and then we'll go to 94.8 up or down with the up and down arrows okay and that's it we're all ready for our repeater we can select that push the green then back out effectively we're ready for our repeater look see there's no repeater and as you key it says 94.8 and it goes red. Blue means receive and there is a green signal meter. Right, so there is a menu in there called repeater mode. So if we go menu 23, I'll just explain to you what repeater mode means. Push menu. If it's off, it's as it is, as I is just, I've just explained to you. You just, when you key, you have the input frequency. But if you select talk around, what it does, it ignores that shift. So let's just select there. Mode. and back out stay on the main band and key now look when you key the shift is ignored although it still puts in the tone of the shift it ignores it now let's do the other one let's go menu 23 which is repeater mode select this time we'll choose frequency re reversal select repeater with the green mode. back out now let's key again so now what it's done is put the output free, it's basically swapped it. So what, before, when we were keying, it was keying up on 145-1000. It's effectively keying up on the output, which sometimes is actually worth, you know, something you can test with a friend. So it's reversed the frequency. So when you key now, the output is 145-700. And when you're listening, you're, on, you're listening on the input, which... I think it's quite a handy little thing and you can set shortcuts as well to these kind of items. I noticed that this radio has shortcuts pre-programmed on here. So let's go menu and I'll show you the shortcut buttons. Now we've got, let's turn it down. You can turn off the talking and the beeps. So the, the shortcuts, let's just get the shortcuts. I'm trying to just zoom this in better. It's a bit glare because I can't you can't dim this screen you can change the time out but you can't really dim it so the shortcuts you've got K1 K2 K you've got K1 and 2 DTMF delay so K1 I'm guessing is these two buttons I'm guessing if we press one says here monitor yeah I'm pretty sure so that's k1 k2 there but the other thing I noticed is that you've got these buttons on the front they've been pre-programmed as well so let's hold down one and it's now scanning let's hold down two tx priority not really sure what we use that for three vox on oh that's my fault turning vox on let's just turn that off there you are so vox works uh four power low five 
squelch level six is back out six dual standby off dual standby isn't that so that if that's on it means that if there's activity on the a or the b you'll hear it if it's off it'll just stay on the band that it's on let's see if seven's got one yeah it turns off the screen fair enough eight the, sh the uh, frequency step look how low it goes it goes down to 0 0.25 that that's quite good frequency. nine it's back out key beep off i like the beeps uh, let's just hold down the hash, see what happens. Ah, oh, it's a lock. Hash is a lock. Zero. Nothing. I noticed that they came into play when I was trying to tag channels, but the, the tagging seems really hard to use the keys. I well, we did that. Menu. Have we locked the radio now, have we? We have. Which one was locked? So we just turn it off and on, see if that does it. But anyway, I think that's enough for now. I'll work it out. Little logo there, welcome, which I think you can change. It's still locked, so there's lock there. Hash is lock. So a menu, when you go to tag, you've got save. Save is quite straightforward. Saving a channel is pretty straightforward. Just go to save and save. But when you go to go back there, go up one to channel name, which you think will be okay. Now I worked out that you can like go forward and back. So forward is the zero. Uh, delete was the star. Okay, I got that. But as soon as I start ty typing a letter, look, G, it's, it just stays on four. If I hold it, if I delete. So the delete we worked out was star. If I hold my finger, it's four. So how do you change it? Hit four, go up and down. I can get the up and down just go me go forward and back. It just stays on four, so there must be a way to select a letter. So it's giving me all the ones, which is great. Channel name. I'm holding down the one. No. Let's push G. See now. I did the hash, okay? Yeah, like I said, activate by that. Hash. G. Oh, I don't know. Delete. Hash again. G. Okay? But how do we actually select G? So I go hash. It's going to give me the number now, isn't it? So I, I know how to get numbers and go across. So delete. Menu. So I, there, I have found a manual for this thing. I've, it actually gives you when you go into menu and go to the first menu, like so. Go to number one. Look, instructions. It gives you this QR code, and it actually does work. And uh, so, anyway, I'll keep playing until I learn out how to do it, and I'll do a separate video on actually tagging the memory channels. I know how to tag. I just don't know how to type the thing. I'm going to have a close look at the instructions. Thanks for watching. So yeah, the Bofung programming lead does go in and does seem to be detected. Yes, it is USB chargeable as well as you get a, a charging dock. And then there's the PTT. And uh, yeah, and it's been on. It's been on for ages and the battery seems to be doing fine. It's a lovely screen. And um, on standby, it's white when it receives something. If I go to one of my memory channels by pushing... Uh, Pushing the hash, is it? Frequency yeah, hash. One. And then go to one of my nodes. There's my node. And it sounds for, excellent. Uh, FM, it's got a really good sound to it. And then if I TX, if I go on the B band and TX, oh look, it's got st right, dual it's standby, it's going back. So if I just move away from him and then TX. It goes red, and then when you receive a frequency, the green. And I did notice that actually, it did. It was when it had a weaker signal, the green was lower down. So there is some sort of detection there. Dual watch. So overall, I think for thirty cost me thirty-one pound or was it thirty-two pound delivered. 
I think is well worth it. Easily, nice belt clip, and you get a charger, charging dock as well. There's your little charging dock. It comes box with instructions. There's the box, type C. There's everything on the box. And what else we got here? Jaw watch, multi-band. That's the thing I haven't tested to be honest. Is if it will no, it won't receive two at the same time because yeah, it's a dual watch, it switches over. Bye for now, 7-3, catch you on out, all the best.